In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this 10-pin bowling simulation using free software Blender and an extension to Blender called Blend for Web. Open Blender. In the Object Properties window, set the X scale of the cube to 2, the Y scale to 8, and the Z scale to 0.1. Change Blender Render to Blend for Web and click Apply Scale and Modifiers. Click the Render button and click the Set Recommended Options button. Click the Material button, click the Diffuse Color and set the green value to 0.4 and the blue value to 0.1. Click the Physics button, click Object Physics we want the physics type to be static. Click collision bounds. We want the collision shape to be box. Add mesh UV sphere. Change shading to smooth. Click object physics. Set the physics type to rigid body. Click no sleeping. Click collision bounds and set the collision shape to sphere. Click the object properties button. Press S to scale, 0.4 and enter. Set the Z location to 0.5, the Y location to minus 7, and click Apply Scale and Modifiers. Click the Material button, click the New button, click the Diffuse color and set the red value to 0.1 and the green value to 0.6. To get a shiny glossy finish, Change the specular shader toward ISO and set the intensity to 1 and set emit to 0.1. Next, I'm going to append a model I made of a skittle into the scene. File append. Go to the folder where you have the blender file, in this case skittle4.blend. Click on it to go into it. Go into the Object folder, select Skittle, and Append. I made the Skittle using the same techniques as I used in my chess piece tutorials. You can make a model of a Skittle yourself, or download the file from my website. Click Object Properties, select the Skittle, press S to scale, 0.1 and Enter, and don't forget to click Apply Scale. Set the Y location to 6 and the Z location to 0.5 and view selected. Click the physics button, click object physics, set the physics type to rigid body and click collision bounds. It's relatively easy to calculate collision bounds for a regular shape and difficult for an irregular shape. At the moment, convex hull is not supported, so I'm going to have to choose one of the regular shapes, and I'm going to choose cylinder. Because the skittle is not a cylinder, the collision bounds are not in the ideal position. One way to fix this is to go into edit mode and to move the mesh relative to the origin, Unfortunately, the collision bounds do not show in edit mode. Press G for grab, Z for the Z direction, minus 0.2 and enter. Go back into object mode. Click object properties and set the Z location to 0.7, which works fine, although you might want to tweak it once. Change the view to the top view and zoom back with the mouse wheel. I'm going to duplicate the skittle to make 10 pins. When you duplicate, you make a new copy of the underlying mesh. There is no point in having 10 copies of the mesh, so I'm going to duplicate linked. Notice the shortcut key is Alt and D. Hold the Alt key down, press D for duplicate and press Enter. Set the X location of the duplicate to 0.5 and the Y location to 6.5. Duplicate 
Alt D and Enter and put a minus sign in front of the X location of the duplicate. Select the front pin, Alt D and Enter and set its Y location to 7. Alt D and Enter and set the X location to 1. Alt D and Enter and set the X location to minus 1. Select a middle pin, Alt D and Enter and set the Y location to 7.5. Alt D and Enter and set the X location to minus 0.5. Alt D and Enter and set the X location to minus 1.5. Alt D and Enter and delete the minus sign. Change the view to the camera view and zoom in with the mouse wheel. Select the camera and press G for grab, Z for the Z axis and Z for Z local. Move the mouse to move the camera back. Press G to grab, X for the X axis and X for X local and move the mouse to pan the camera. To make the physics work we have to make a project. Click the render button, click the project manager button. Click the hide stock projects button, click the create new project button. Call the new project My Bowling and scroll down and click Create Project and back to Projects. Scrolling down to the new project, first I'm going to overwrite the dummy blender file, then I'm going to use it to overwrite the JSON file. Going back to Blender. File, Save As, go to the Blend for Web folder, the Projects folder, the My Bowling folder, Blender, click on the file and click Save As to overwrite it. To overwrite the dummy JSON file, File, Export, Blend for Web JSON, click on the JSON file and click Export to overwrite it. Going back to Project Manager and clicking the link for the HTML file, the scene loads, but nothing happens. To get the ball rolling, we could have made a ramp and placed the ball at the top of the ramp. The ball would have rolled down the ramp and into the skittles. But I am going to use a few lines of code to get the ball moving. Go back to Project Manager, click the Edit link and click the JavaScript file, the .js file. These are the lines we need to add. We need functions from two more modules, the Scenes module and the Physics module. First, we get a link to the ball, then we use a function from the physics module to set the initial velocity of the ball in the y direction. Save the changes and reload the scene. And that gives a basic simulation Next, we need to fine-tune the speed and mass of the ball. Go back to Blender, click the Physics button and set the mass of the ball to 2. Re-export the scene and reload the scene. And what I like is that every time you reload, you get a different result, even though no settings have changed. That's the end of the tutorial.
I'll put the files used in the tutorial for you to download at my website. To visit my website, click the eye icon in the top right hand corner. If you'd like to subscribe, click the stick man. If you'd like to sponsor my tutorials, click the patron link. Thanks for watching and goodbye.